Hello everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be doing a combined unboxing, time lapse and review of the Dinosaur Market Polybag set 30390. And this particular polybag uh, was released sometime in 2022 uh, and I believe to coincide with the release of Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, so obviously looking at the label itself, uh, this is out of the Jurassic World uh, subline from LEGO. So, quick little poly bag because poly bag backlog needs to be addressed. Um, so I thought I would do this one, uh, partly because I'm also inspired by the 30th anniversary set releases for Jurassic Park. So, front of the poly bag, we have the Dinosaur Market. Now, I suspect this has nothing to do with the movie. In saying that, I've not seen the movie. Yeah, I say that about a lot of movies. So, there could actually be some relevance of this particular set to the movie. But either way, um, what can I tell from this market? I'm assuming he's a smuggler. So, probably a mosquito and amber. I suspect a baby raptor, because everyone loves baby raptors, and probably a raptor egg. So that's the front of the bag. Turn back, well, nothing much to see. It is a poly bag. So, poly bag done. Uh, time to get straight into the time lapse. Hopefully, I won't have pieces flying, have issues with singular grey studs, as I did with Batman. Um, time will tell. Okay, and with the time lapse now done. So what was ultimately in that poly bag? So we had the manual, uh, which definitely wasn't too difficult to follow through. Just pretty much A4 page, um, build the minifig, start with the base, and then pretty much just do the extra detailing. So definitely not a lot involved. And there you go, 12 steps. So definitely uh, pretty good. I was somewhat amused when I saw these single silver studs. I thought, oh gosh, not those again. Uh, but yes, here we are. Also makes me wonder if I've put these little window things the other way around, but oh well, doesn't really matter. Um, so yes, manual, definitely not too bad. We do have uh, just two of these single stud pieces left uh, as your spare parts, which isn't too bad. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much uh, unique to the set. As for what is pretty much built for this poly bag, so we have the one minifig uh, who gets to hold a piece of amber, 
and that piece of amber is actually pretty much printed on with the mosquito that is supposed to be inside so um, for some reason I thought the actual mosquito was inside but there you go even even I can be deceived now this particular minifig does have uh, two different heads so there's head number one and then head number two and you just need to make sure you put his uh, little beanie on the right way so it covers up the other head when not in use so that is the one included minifig as for the little marketplace itself it's nothing overly complex it's just pretty much a little dinosaur pen with a little hatchery on the side definitely nothing too overly uh, fancy I mean it's pretty much the front the side uh, bear in mind the egg is loose it's not actually fixed onto anything the back and the other side so yeah it's not an overly complex build at all do have a little baby raptor figure uh, for inside the pen and that can just pretty much sit on any old regular stud without any problems I say without any problems proceed to have problems there we go maybe put one where it's actually useful um, there isn't too much in the way of articulation on this other than obviously being you know the minifig being able to move that the egg can obviously come out of a little hatchery thing and then this little I dare say egg heater uh, can swivel as well and there's that one egg and you could even have the egg in the little section here if you really wanted to but it does happily sit in there with the little heating lamp I dare say um, otherwise that's pretty much the little scenic base that's included um, so what do I think about this particular poly bag? It's a poly bag set. Um, it's supposed to be quick, it's supposed to be relatively inexpensive. Um, so it really just comes down to how much of a fan you are of the particular subline. So for anything Jurassic Park, I have been a little bit on the fanatical side. So I didn't really hesitate in picking up this little poly bag. But for other people, especially now that you've seen what's in the poly bag, you may not feel it's, it may not have enough value to justify its price point. And that's fair enough. If you want something a bit more bang for your buck, you would probably go out and uh, get a proper set. Um, still, it's a quick little build. Uh, I think it only took me about three and a half minutes um, at a fairly decent pace. So it's definitely not too bad. Um, be interesting to see how this integrates with some of the other sets that were released for Dominion. I did pick up a good number of those. Um, but in terms of inclusions, it's nice. I mean, you get a minifig, the little baby raptor, the egg. So even if you're not a big fan of this little set, um, the minifig, the raptor, the egg, and even the little piece of uh, amber could be used for a different set somewhere along the line just to give it a bit more presence. So there you go. It's definitely not a terrible poly bag but yes it will either be a case of if you're a fan of Jurassic Park you probably get it if you're not a huge fan of Jurassic Park you'll probably end up giving this a skip but once again personal preference um, for me I enjoyed it it's not too bad um, it does look quite cute uh, and yeah it was nice it was definitely very nice in terms of the video I'll pretty much wrap things up there, so that's pretty much a unboxing, or in the case of an unbagging, uh, the time lapse and a bit of a review of the Dinosaur Market set 30390. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account. Uh, link to that is in the description below. Otherwise, it's also the same name as the YouTube channel. With that being said, stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in a future video. See ya.